Oh, it's been a month since nung gumawa ng last video ko. So today, let's talk about retirement. This segment of this channel is called Adulting in the Philippines. And here in the show, we talk about topics relating to adulting in the Filipino context. Hope you enjoy the show. Whew. Okay, the reason why I want to talk about this topic is just this weekend, last weekend nung Monday, uh, I was jogging with my friend kasi holiday so wala siyang pasok. And na mention niya sa akin na yung mother niya, which is in her mid 50s same as mine, but yung mother ko is a bit younger than her mother. And na banggit ng mother niya sa kanya na she's thinking about retirement na. And alam mo yun, parang na realize ko na oh, ibig sabihin parang malapit na din yung mother ko to to retire. And na mention niya na din naman. So yeah, I just want to share my thoughts about it. This is a traditional concept and explanation about retirement which has been passed through generations. This is how it goes. You'll start working in your 20s, work really really hard, pass your ass, and climb the corporate tower. Make and save a lot of money, and by the time you hit your 60s, that's the time you do what the fuck you want in your life. Which is a kind of a mess up advice. When we're talking about it, what really caught my attention is nung binanggit sa kanya nung mother niya na if kaya niya bang isupport yung mother niya when she retires. And I know, uh, paano ba? Uh, it's a common thing, it's a common culture about Filipinos na isupport mo yung parents mo once they retire. But I think it has about to change kasi to think about it, uh, pag nisip mo, supporting your life to succeed is already tough. And isipin mo kung dadagdagan mo pa ng uh, like another thing na kailangan mong tulungan. It would be tough. It would be really, really tough. Reflecting on that topic and putting my shoe on my friend's shoe, and if my mother asked me kung kaya ko ba siyang support when she retires at this time, at this moment, it's not a question if I'm willing to, it's a question kung kaya ko ba talaga. And to be honest, like, I don't know. Parang hindi. So, yeah, um, like, it's. it's it's a topic that I think family should start to be talking about. Because everyone's involved in it. This is my Lolo and Lola. Both of them are in their late 70s. And up to this date, they still work on their business kahit na they have the choice to stop. They rather choose to keep grinding kesa wala silang ginagawa. But what really amazes me is that my Lolo suffered stroke two decades ago which causes half of his body to be paralyzed and it does not stop him from growing his business and up to this date, he keeps on putting the work. Reflecting on my own family, I have a grandfather and a grandmother sa maternal side ko which is alive and they're in their mid or late 70s and hindi namin naranasan yun kasi they have their own business which at this at their current age kaya pa rin nilang uh, trabahohin yun. So I guess it is a good pattern or a good idea na gawin din ng mga uh, baby boomers which is in their late 40s or early 50s to late 50s it's a good uh, paano ba, idea na to have something to do, to have a business na hindi, kahit hindi kasing laki nung sinasahod nila yung kikitain nila but, but could give them income and that could support their uh, basic needs yung maintenance nila sa gamot, yung pagkain nila, yung shelter. I think it's good enough. It's it's even enough kasi may makukuha naman sila from SSS and dun sa company na they work for, their retirement plan. Okay, to wrap up this video, uh, I guess what we need to do is to talk about it uh, as a family. Uh, how will we deal with it? What uh, what we will do about it? Yun. Uh, then also, I guess... Uh, when you're in your mid-30s or late-40s, uh, start developing a hobby or a uh, passion project na where you could transition once you retire. Na yun na yung gagawin mo. So you'll, be, you'll still be fulfilled once, once you're done with your corporate life. Start preparing your retirement plan when you're in your early 20s in your early 30s because time will always catch up with you faster than you think. So yun, uh, that's it for this video. I'm out. Peace. Bye. If you enjoy watching this episode, please consider subscribing and hit the like button. I'll be releasing this kind of content every second and fourth week of the month. 
That's all I have for now. Hope you got something meaningful from this episode. Goodbye and have a great day.